Continuous integration and continuous delivery are software development practices that encourage you to push your code changes to production as soon as they're ready. So CI CD is essentially an automation layer. Typically, this layer would include running tests against your code. And if those tests pass, then push those right to production. So there's some advantages to this process of making changes and pushing them live. For one, your software is being updated all the time. And so people are getting the latest and the greatest experience. Also, it's easier to identify problems once they get into production because sometimes a small change can cause big problems. And if you notice a big problem has arisen, you can go back and look at the changes that you made recently. If you stack up a bunch of changes and then push them, it's gonna be much more difficult to figure out which one of those changes caused the problem. So by doing things incrementally and by pushing them out live, it's gonna make it easier for you to identify issues and roll them back. Also if you are developing and you don't have a supercomputer, using these CI CD tools allows you to offload the work of testing and compiling and deploying onto a remote system. And that's going to leave your local systems resources free so that you can continue to develop without any of the impact. So websites like Google and Facebook use this stuff every single day to manage their mission critical websites. Uh, we're going to use it to deploy a meme to Reddit slightly different use case, but it's going to be fun. So this is the CI CD tool that we're going to be using for our continuous meme delivery. It's called Circle CI. It's already integrated with my GitHub. So when I push things up to GitHub, Circle CI is going to be notified of it and it's going to respond according to how I configured it. And this repository is on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. So all the magic is actually in this repository. So let's take a look at the code here. The two key elements is this file called meme.png. Uh, my meme game is weak. I'm going to work on that. So this is the file that we want to edit anytime we want to edit an existing meme or create a new meme. And then we have this configuration file here in this dot circle CI folder. And this is where all the real magic happens. So I have everything happening in what's called a circle CI workflow. And our workflow is going to be called deploy meme. And so you can have a bunch of different jobs in your workflows, but we're only going to have one job, which is to run a build. And so I've set up this build process so that it only builds when I push a tag. I can create memes in different branches. I can save my memes in different branches. I can push them up to GitHub and it's not going to run any tests. It's not going to do any deployments. When I feel like a meme is ready, it's ready for prime time, then I can create a tag, which is essentially a pointer to a git commit and I push that up, then it's going to go through this whole process that we're defining down here below in this build section. So first, what we need to do is tell it the executor, which is going to be the environment from which our build runs in. And so we're going to choose Docker here. And the nice thing about this is we don't really need to know a whole lot about Docker. We're going to be using the Circle CI pre-built images. And so we just need to really choose the image that we want to use. And so we're going to choose this Python 2.7 image and it's pulling these straight from Docker Hub if you're familiar with that website. So next we have a couple of environment variables that we can set. We can choose which subreddit that we are going to post our meme to and we can also choose the title of the post as well in these environment variables. And then this is where the actual magic happens. These are our build steps. And so the first thing you want to do is check out your code and then the build is going to have access to our code. And then over here we have a bunch of convenience things. We're using some cache so that we don't have to install our dependencies every single time. We have a bunch of external dependencies that we're using and we'll see those in a second. And so really the most important step comes down here and it's called meme time. I it took me like 10 minutes to come up with that. And usually when you're running these steps, they're running in the bash shell, but you can also choose a shell that you want to use. So since I have a bunch of my dependencies installed in this virtual environment, this Python virtual environment, I'm telling it that I want to use the Python in my virtual environment. And so that's why we're pointing to that Python, which means that everything that I include in this command section here can be raw Python code. And so you'll see that we have 
have a bunch of imports at the top like you would in any Python file. So now we're gonna run some tests on our image to make sure that we're, we didn't actually make any mistakes before we wanna upload this image and post it to Reddit. So a couple of the checks, first we're making sure that it's either a PNG file or a JPEG file. And if it's not, it's gonna raise an exception and it's gonna fail the build so that we don't proceed to try to upload it to Imager or make a post on Reddit. Next, I have some constraints here on the size. We want to make sure that the image is larger than 500 by 500 pixels, but it's smaller than 1000 by 1000 pixels. And that's, a, I think that's a, a pretty good constraint. You know, sometimes I'll be really zoomed into an image and it'll appear really big, but in actuality, it's like 100 by 100 pixels. And so I upload it and then I'm like, why, why is my image so small? So this automates that process and makes sure that uh, you're not putting any wonky sizes to your image. So once we've passed all our tests, we're gonna start doing some of our deployments here. So we're creating a imager instance of the API wrapper and we're creating a Reddit instance of their API wrapper. So the first thing we wanna do is upload our image to Imager. And you can see here, we're just defining some configuration in this variable. We're grabbing the title from the environment that we defined above. And then we are going to try to upload it from the path. And you see we're passing the configuration and we're giving it the image path as well. And if everything works well, we're going to get this imager response. And if it doesn't go well, it's going to raise an error and that's going to fail the build as well. And it's not going to try to post it to Reddit. So then we want to configure our Reddit post. And so we also need to get title from the environment. And we also need to get the link to the image from our imager response. And we're putting that in the post config here as well. Then we want to get the environment variable that contains a subreddit. And we're going to be pointing to that subreddit and then calling the submit method and passing it our post configuration. And if that goes well, it's going to give us back this post object, which is a pointer to our post on Reddit. And that opens up a new method called reply. So we can add a comment right to the post that we just made. So with this process here, we're running some quick checks on our meme. We're uploading our meme to Imager and then we're posting it to Reddit and adding a comment. And if all of that goes well, our build is going to be green on the Circle CI website, like you can see here. And if it doesn't go well, it's going to be red. And we'll be able to see that and you can get notifications on Slack and email and in a lot of different places. So now that we've gone through all of the theory and the technicals here, let's go through the process of how this gets used in practice. I am on the master branch, so I want to create a new meme. So I'm going to create a new branch. So we're going to do git checkout dash b and i'm going to call this new dash meme 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 okay so we're on a new branch and we're going to open up the folder with meme.png and then i'm going to open it up with pinta so here's my meme still still looks sad i'm not going to do anything too crazy here we're just going to add a bunch of squiggly wigglies over here and then we're going to save it and if we go back to git and check the status we can see that the file has been edited so we're going to do git commit and we'll just say new meme and for the sake of showing something cool later i'm going to make another change with some more squiggly wigglies and we're just going to do git commit meme change. So now we have our new meme that's been updated and we're going to push this up to GitHub. So that is going to go up there. And then if we go to the GitHub page, we see it's updated and we have a new branch called new meme. So if we go to that branch, this is kind of cool because you can see how things have changed over time. So if we go to these commits here, we can click on this commit hash and then we can view the differences. So this was my first change here. And then this was the second change. GitHub is really cool because you have these different options for diffing images. So you can go through this transparency thing right here and view the transparency, or you can do a swipe so that you can swipe 
and see the differences between your images, or you can just see both of the images. I thought that was pretty cool and I just wanted to share it. So now we have this new meme and it's stored up here on GitHub, but nothing happened on CircleCI. What we want to do is create a tag of our new meme now and push that up to GitHub. Then it's going to kick off the whole build and deployment process. So let's just come back here to the terminal and we're going to say git tag my new meme just like that and then git push origin my new meme. So when we push that up, it's going to create a new tag on GitHub, going to create a new release and it's also going to kick off a build. I didn't even need to refresh it. I don't know why I did that. So here is our meme deployment. Now we have our tag here and it does tell us it's a tag. And then this is the whole process. It's going through and running meme time. So everything was successful, which means that if we go back up to Reddit over here on the Mr. PowerScript subreddit, there should be a new post and there is a new post. So we'll click on it and there is the meme. It was uploaded to Imager. It is now posted as a link post. And we also have our little comment here that says this meme was delivered fresh with continuous meme delivery. And it includes a link directly to the image on GitHub. And what's also really cool is if we go to our releases page, when you create a tag, it creates a release. So anytime you create a finished meme project, it's going to add it here on your releases page as well. So that's how it works. You can create different memes and manage them in branches. You can view diffs and changes between the memes as they evolve and as they change. And when you feel like something is ready to share, you can create a tag, push it to GitHub, and it's gonna do all of the tests and the deployments and push it out live for everyone to see. And remember, the dankest memes are the freshest, so continuous meme delivery is going to help you deliver that dank. And that's it. Thanks for watching.